In this video, I'll go over how you can get the brand new Reed's Regret Linear Fusion Rifle as a solo player, and which perks you want to grind for to make this one of the top DPS options for PvE. Coming up. If this video helps you out, make sure you hit the like button down below. It only takes one click. Reed's Regret comes from Trials of Osiris. However, unlike previous seasons, you no longer need a Trials team or much PvP skill at all to get some of the best loot. So now that Trials has matchmaking, you can jump into it as a solo player. Also, losing no longer ends your card. Instead, it stops you from going flawless, but you can continue playing however long you want and get all of the non-adept loot. You can get the Reed's Regret through Trials Engrams and Pinnacle sources. These include the 50 round pinnacle or the 7 win pinnacle. These will give you random Trials gear. So this means you aren't guaranteed to get it right away, but if you continue to play every week, you'll eventually get it to drop. You can also take your Trials Engrams to Master Raul to have a chance of getting gear that you haven't already unlocked. Once you have unlocked the Reed's Regret for the first time, you can focus your Trials Engrams at Saint 14 for guaranteed Reed's Regrets or any other weapons or armor you may be farming for. This will cost 100 Legendary Shards and 20,000 Glimmer, so this can get a little costly. If you don't have the resources for that, like I said earlier, you can decrypt your Trials Engrams and Master Raul and hope one drops. Before we look at the god rules, here's a few tips for solo players while playing Trials. Firstly, make sure you stick with your teammates. Even if you aren't able to get a kill, at the very least, you can get some damage on your enemies and help your teammates clean up a kill. Also, if you happen to die, you'll be much easier to revive. Second tip is don't be afraid to use things that seem cheesy. Things like Lorenz Driver and Jotun are very strong and easy to use, especially on console, so people tend to look down on people who use them. But who cares what they think? If it helps you win, use it. Both of these are easily accessible to everyone. Lorenz Driver comes from the Season Pass, and Jotun comes from the exotic kiosk in the tower. Third thing to keep in mind is, it's okay to lose. Since your Trials card doesn't force you to restart after a loss, you can keep playing until you get 7 or more wins. Also, as you lose matches, you're more likely to pair against other people who have already lost matches. So after you've lost a few matches, you're probably not going to get paired against sweaty players. Play until you get all the pinnacles and some Trials Engrams, then turn them into Saint-14 for even more gear. As a casual Trials player myself, this makes the game mode so much more fun and less stressful. Now for the roles that you want to look out for to make this thing a DPS monster in PvE. The third column has Triple Tap. This is the first and only linear fusion rifle with Triple Tap. This will return one ammo back after hitting three rapid precision hits. That ammo will appear out of thin air. You're going to want to pair that with one of two options in the final column. Vorpal Weapon for a flat 15% more damage against bosses, or Firing Line for 20% more damage against all enemies while you're near two or more enemies. One thing to note here is that Firing Line is currently bugged to deal only about 14% more damage instead of the 20 it's supposed to. So because of that, I have to recommend Vorpal Weapon over Firing Line. However, Firing Line will be the best option once Bungie addresses this issue. In GMs, you're almost always near teammates for this perk, and in DPS phases and raid encounters, you'll most likely have everyone stacked up in a well of radiance. To further improve this weapon, you can go for Liquid Coils in the second column. This will increase the damage of each shot, allowing for more total damage per magazine. You could also go for Ionized Battery to enhance the triple tap portion of this. This will increase your magazine to 7 up from 6, which allows us to get 3 triple taps to proc, and give us a total of 10 shots without reloading. For Nightfalls, you'll want Liquid Coils for the higher damage per shot on the Champions. And for Raid Encounters, either one will work, but Ionized will result in much higher total damage, which will especially be useful on bosses with longer damage phases like Tanix or Master Templar. A couple other perks you may consider will be Clown Cartridge and Headstone. Clown Cartridge is a decent replacement for Triple Tap, being that they both allow you to shoot more shots per magazine. The major difference between the two is that Clown Cartridge takes ammo from your reserves, whereas Triple Tap just gives you ammo for free. Headstone will be very helpful in high-end content when you're using Stasis. This allows precision kills to spawn a Stasis Crystal. Stasis Fragments and Aspects work perfectly with these. Things like Whisper of Shards, Chains, and Fissures make this perk OP. Overall, the god roll you need to get for high damage against bosses will be Ionized Battery, Triple Tap, and firing line whenever that gets fixed, so in the meantime, Vorpal Weapon. For a more champion focused role, replace Ionized with Liquid Coils. And finally, for a role that has great synergy with your Stasis subclass, run Headstone in the final column. Which roles are you most excited for? 
Let me know in the comments. Like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more Destiny 2 solo guides like this. Thanks for watching, I'm Marshix, and I'll see you next time.